I was asked to talk about what makes what makes a good presentation and, and making it memorable. Um, and so I don't know that there's like any set thing that you have to do. In fact, sometimes it's cool to think outside the box. Um, but I did have a couple things that I've done that, that I think have helped. And so um, first thing is, is technology, um, making sure your technology works. And one thing I like to do is, is make sure I'm not dependent on Wi-Fi, right? Wi-Fi is so finicky. Um, and so, so something you can do is just turn off the Wi-Fi on your laptop when you're preparing it, right? Like when you, and you actually go through it without any Wi-Fi, right? Download everything to the desktop, have it all saved. You can ask me if you've got any questions, right? It's actually fairly simple to do. And that way you're not dependent on any variable things, right? It's just saved, it's set. And so I, I would say not depending on anything that might be finicky is, is probably a good idea. Um, the next thing is going through your presentations. I actually kind of enjoy going and doing presentations and speaking. Um, but I will still, I will go through, I'll set, create my whole presentation and I will go through it two or three times, start to finish timing myself in front of my poor wife who falls asleep through half of them. Um, but, but actually the, the act of going through it and, and walking through it, I can't tell you how many times I say something like, wow, that sounded really dumb. You know, and then I have the opportunity to go back and, and kind of fix it. So I'd say that's another piece. Um, your presentation is an opportunity to go deep. Now that doesn't mean, you know, you don't want to go get too technical, right? Like if I start going into all sorts of crazy stock stuff or, or James starts telling me how an alternator works, like, like it's going to, some of us might be interested, but for the most part, you're going to lose people. Really what you need to go deep on is how you can help people. What is it that you can do that can help people around you? And how do I, as one of your fellow networkers, how do I know what it is that I should be listening for when I'm meeting with people? Um, what are the warning signs of a business, of a car, of a roof, of, of a sales, you know, uh, P POS, P point of sale, point of sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what is it, you know, what is it that I need to watch for? And that the uh, 30 seconds isn't enough to do it, but a, a, a presentation is. Um, I want to know what sets you apart and what your niche is, right? And there's a lot of different ways to be very successful in business, right? There's people who go on the price, right? I'm going to be the cheapest around. If you, you know, I shop me out, I'm going to beat anyone else. And I want to know that, right? If that's your niche or if you're like, like a good example is, uh, is, um, legacy roofing, right? Josh does a fantastic job with roofs, but he's not going to be the cheapest one, right? I had a conversation with a client on Monday who needs a new roof. And it was so nice for me to be able to say, Hey, I've got a guy who's going to do the best job. He's an honest guy. He's a straight shooter. He's not going to be the cheapest one around, but he's going to give you a fair price. And, and that makes me look good when I introduce someone, right? Cause I don't want to introduce someone and have him blindsided by not the cheapest rate or, you know, I want to introduce someone for their best niche. And I think a presentation, let us know what is your niche, right? Where is it? Who do you serve? Um, and finally, make it having having some personal right i'd love to see the pictures of family and and what do you like to do for fun what do you get out do you go camping do you mount bike having that connection helps not only does it help me feel more comfortable and get to know you and it's kind of a fun part of the presentation but i want to know how you're going to act interact with my client right i know my clients really well i know what they love i know the personalities they're going to struggle with and personalities they're going to do well with. And if I know who you are, I can kind of introduce that well and, and create a much better um, referral. And so I think, again, there's no perfect, you know, presentation or, and, and sometimes it's good to think outside the box. But I think if we have the preparation, if we know the niches and we can make it personal, it can really be um, a good presentation for all of us to be able to network. Thank you so much.